Hello. Because you did not ask for it, <laughs> uh, it is time for another Out of the Box. Uh, this time, I've got a book that has been out since, like, August, but I just got it recently. Legend of the Five Rings Strongholds of the Empire. Now, this book is unique in that you can only get it as a PDF. Or in the case of Drive Through RPG, you can get it as a hardcover book. Which is why it's a little the cover's a little different on this than on um, dang it. There we go. Like the Book of Earth, which doesn't really have like that super sheen to it. But it also means that for like things like the UPC, it doesn't have a price on it because I was a cheapskate myself and I bought the black and white one, so the art is not as crisp, I guess you could say. I mean, you can still see the art, it's gorgeous artwork. Uh, it talks about different. Uh, Strongholds for each of the clans, like Clearwater Village, uh, Broken Wave City, Otis and Uchi. There's a bunch of stuff in here about different areas. Just open door. Ren! Well, I just have to go to the table of contents. Uh, there's new advantages, disadvantages, new mechanics for each clan. Just because I, you know, I've said this before, I'm a Mantis player. We will go to the Mantis section with Broken Wave City. La la la. I will never stop being a Mantis client player. <laughs> I gotta find the damn thing. Oh, it's the first one. Duh. Uh, it talks about in here, uh, Fisher's Village, the Holy Quarter, the Commerce Quarter, the Etta. Now, you see, I didn't even know about this. The Etta Village. Which is kind of cool. Uh, even as the first surveys of the future foundations of Kyudin Kumiko were begun, it was clear to the Mantis engineers that complex defensive works, such as continuous city walls, would largely be a waste of effort. Kaigan's Island was its own fortification, with the sea its moat, and the Mantis fleet its defensive bulwarks. Of course, it goes on. Uh, as for new mechanics for the Mantis... We've got ourselves a new advantage, Inheritance Kabuni! Ten freaking points! <laughs> Not to be taken lightly. But uh, here we go, a new advantage. Uh, Broken Wave Citizen, three points. Uh, it gives you a plus 1k O to the total of all commerce and sailing skills. skills commerce and sailing skill rolls. Pretty good. A uh, new disadvantage, Broken Wave Stigma, two points. Uh, you get one less point than normal when purchasing the Sworn Enemy and Nemesis disadvantages if the other party is a Phoenix Clan Samurai. You also suffer a penalty of 1k O to all social skill roles made targeting members of the Phoenix Clan. That's kind of frightening, really. So I've had a sore throat lately. Doing 31 videos in 31 days will do that. <laughs> but uh, a new alternate path, the Tsuruchi Swordsman, uh, requires... You, it replaces Tsuruchi Archer 4 or Tsuruchi Bounty Hunter 4, Bounty Hunter 4 and you need Ken, Kenjutsu 3. You may make a melee attack as a simple action rather than a complex action when wielding a sword. Then why the hell is it an archer alternate path? 
But yeah, that's, you know, just a taste. You know, I could sit here and cover the whole book, but that would take forever. All in all, I enjoy the book. Uh, now I just need a game. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for now. Um, my goal, I have a goal. Uh, I want to get two more out of the boxes done before Christmas. Because the Book of Earth for L5R and the Honor and Treachery Learn to Play set the Elf of Our Card Game both come out this month. And I'm going to try to pick up Winter Vale tomorrow. So my goal is two. Hoping to have three. Now, I'm going to do something special on Christmas. I haven't decided what. Um, probably do a little bit of video game play. What I'll do is... But I'll, well, you know, video game play is going to be a little hard uh, because I don't own a capture card. So I'm literally going to stream right off my television. But I'll try to get it to work. Anyway, that's it for now. Take care. Peace.